Hello and welcome to our Inside Our Schools Taffy Project. I'm Morgan Seiplick. And I'm Victoria Van Buelen. And we are seniors here at Grand Oaks High School located in Spring, Texas. Today we are here to discuss our newly implemented mentality and strategy towards education and its environment. This strategy is called 6 plus 1. This helps to better education and its engagement and learning in the classroom. Our goal is to help lead teachers towards making this possible. Today we are joined by a few of our Grand Oaks staff members to help discuss this new idea. Today I'm here with Ms. Pryor, our assistant principal, and she is going to explain what 6 plus 1 is. Awesome. Thank you, Victoria. So 6 plus 1 is a new initiative that we started at Grand Oaks. Its roots, roots are based um, on Marzano's Art and Science of Teaching. We selected seven elements that we thought were essential to improving instruction at Grand Oaks, and we asked teachers to pick one of those elements to focus on. Okay. Since the implementation of 6 plus 1, how have you seen changes? Awesome. So the elements that we selected improve uh, the rapport between teachers and students. It also is supposed to help facilitate planning. It helps with best instructional practices, engagement, etc. And so what we found is that teachers have been more intentional about working on the element that they've selected. We also have set um, lots of opportunities for students, I mean, for teachers to receive professional development on those uh, particular elements. And so the attendance for that has been amazing. Okay. And as an administrator, how have you helped the implementation of 6 plus 1 succeed? So I was proud and excited to be a part of the administrative team that helped plan 6 1 plus 1 before its implementation this year. Um, now I am uh, a sounding board for the teachers. I help talk talk with teachers and help them decide what would be a great element for them to focus on. Um, I also have presented several of the staff developments related to 6 plus 1. Most recently, I did one on formative assessments, which was, uh, uh, which was well attended, which was awesome. Um, this is also part of teachers' professional growth, and so we talk about that during the conferences that they have with me as their administrator. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, now I'm here with my anatomy teacher, Ms. Castro. What 6 plus 1 goal did you implement into your classroom? Um, I implemented the student data tracking. Why did you choose to implement this into your classroom? A uh, reason for me to choose this is I wanted students to be able to self-monitor their progress in the class and then also be able to self-assess whether they're understanding the material. How have you seen improvements and changes with the students in your classroom using this? Um, I've seen more kids coming in for tutorials to get their needs met so they know how well they are doing. Um, they can also tell me the major topics they need help on. Um, and then I've seen overall their scores improve in assessments. Awesome, thank you. Hi, I'm Elaine Lawrence. I teach biology and forensic science. And my goal for the year that I'm focusing on are clear cut routines, procedures, and expectations for my students. This is to facilitate a, an environment conducive to learning and to remove any distractions that might get in the way of their learning. Can you give me some examples? So one example is when you come into my classroom, students know to pick up their papers and put their cell phone in the cell phone holder, which I then use to take attendance. Removing the cell phone um, from the learning equation this year has been the best thing I've done. Um, it really removes a distraction uh, from the, them looking at their cell phones while we're trying to learn. Perfect, thank you so much for your time. Okay, I am now here with my English teacher, Mr. Rollins. What objective did you choose to implement? This I year? chose to implement structured and appropriately placed, paced lessons. And I've got it a good style, something that works for me. But what I found is when I don't have a good plan in place for my students, that can lead to a little bit of chaos in the classroom. My classrooms are never well, I, I like them to never be silent, but at the same time, um, appropriately paced lessons and structured in such a way that the students are engaged and actively learning helps to create a classroom dynamic that is best for learning. Awesome, thank you. Once again, I'm Morgan Seiplick, and this is Victoria Van Bielen, and we are seniors here at Grand Oaks High School in Spring, Texas. And thank you for watching our Inside Our Schools Taffy Project.